And we are live back in Elden Ring and for the fourth uh, stream in a row we are going to fight Radon, but we are finally going to do it in uh, true Souls game fashion and just uh, smash our face against the brick wall that is this boss until we beat him instead of deciding to quit every three rounds and go do something else. We're just going to straight up fight the dude. That goes away. Oh, of course, he's dead. you want to fight in slideshow mode. Swords. Focus me. Focus me so my buddies can see me. Yeah. Oh. A lot of people are dead. Let's make a run around see if we can find some. Really don't like that it's doing that weird hitch thing, because that's what it did like two streams ago when it eventually just crashed after a little while. And it's doing it the exact same way.
he interrupted my Eat my foot. Oh, I'm dead. Wasted all that stuff. We got him. Holy crap, I did not think I was going to get him. Oh, and I had my foot on, so we're going to get a zillion runes. Whew. And now we get to watch a cool cutscene of the stars starting up again. Oh, I'm so glad we beat him. See, it's even doing that stuttering during the cutscene. I don't like that. I think once this cutscene's done, I'm actually gonna uh, restart the game real quick and see if that fixes that. Whoops. I set my controller down and forgot that I have Rumble on, on it. That scared the crap out of me. Red mark was made on the map. Okay, so... Let's see any... Oh, nope, there was a little bit. Hang on. Let's see if it does it again. Yep, there is one. It's still doing it, but hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, but hey, we beat Radon, so awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I need to do next here. I was not expecting to beat him. Uh, okay. We'll find uh, Blyde and Alexander should be hanging out around here somewhere. We'll look for them. There's Blyde. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokla, where Rani's fate would be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Right. So, Lyde wants to go hang out where that giant meteor fell in that cutscene. Also, speaking of meteor, look at these other ones just kind of slammed in here. It's also cool to see the sky, like looking like Sky again after you beat him. Uh, Alright, let's level up before the stiff breeze knocks me over and I lose all of these runes. Oh my god, we can level up so many times. Level up three times, let's do Vigor because we were really uh, not doing great in the health department during those fights. And Alexander should also be hanging out around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy, you look a little worse for wear. Ah, hello there. Um, 
It was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. One Get hit it. was all it took to crack me. Oh, look, we can look inside. inside to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. Yeah, that's not what happened. I resummoned you like six times, and you fought him quite a bit. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> right, I'm rooting for you, buddy. Still getting a little bit of that hitch. Like every maybe 10 seconds or so, it giving that little hitch. Oh, what's making it do that? Uh, okay. So, uh, let's go back here real quick, just because we're going to talk to uh, Jaren, who was uh, the dude dressed like a lambschnick. Speak with him once more real quick. I wish I knew why the game was sputtering like that. I think he might be inside the building now that the fight's over. Yeah, he is. He's sitting on his chair. He's in his loading screen pose. At last, the war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radani. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow, uh, Victory 102. And crippled by madness. All he wanted was an honorable death. Well, he got it after four streams worth <laughs> of fights. Got himself an honorable death. Turns out the secret was just hitting him really, really hard. Finally. My work is done. I'm no longer... I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. It's time I went... May we meet again... Okay, so that's all he had to say. Well, maybe take a look at that at some point if I can figure out why uh, the last couple of streams its mind has been lagging horribly because I don't want to try to do co-op while it's doing this. <laughs> Definitely keep that in mind. Thank you, man. Okay, so him. What else can we do around here? Ooh, we can do Melissa and stuff. Or Millicent, rather. So that is... Oh, and we got the City of Magic. Uh, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff over here. So... And actually, Redmain should, now that he's dead, there will be a... There's a pretty tough boss fight at Redmain. You know what? Let's see if going here will turn the castle back into the correct way that it works. Oh, yes it did. Awesome. I know it's working because there's people to man the catapult. <laughs> Can 
I should really be on my horse. This is not safe. Yeah. Horse. Ah, blocked it. Let me toss you. Let me toss you in the air. He's not gonna let me do it. Okay, I'll fight you like normal. You're not gonna let me do it the, the fun way. Not a fan of whatever is causing that stutter. Oh. I'm gonna hand it to these guys. After they see me do this to their buddies, the fact that they still run out and attack is pretty uh pretty brave of them. Excuse me, I said that. Oh wow, he hit me in the middle of that. Pretty good move on his part. Okay. The stutter is almost not as bad as the weird, like speed up it does after the stutter to try to catch itself back up. Ow. Really? I'm not going to lose to a foot shoulder here. Somebody dropped something. Would you give me a butterfly? That's boring. Anything in this camp? There is not. Oh, hi. A large troll with a flaming sword. Get staggered. Gotta be close. There we go. Give me your head. Nope. Where's this head? I don't know if I can. Nope, I can't. <laughs> he fell in the worst spot. A big hit. There we go. Jeez, that took way longer than it should have. Okay. Charles dead. Gate is 
not open. I remember if Redmane is a gate I can open. I have to go this way, right? I think. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. It's not that way. I'm trying to remember how to get in without using the teleport on the other side of the bridge. Because there is a way to do it, I just don't remember. Let's ride back up here a second time. <laughs> there's a little thing where you go around the back and there's like bats and stuff, but maybe I'm misremembering that. Oh wait, I have to I think I have to do this. Oh hey. There's a guy in here now. That was entirely necessary. Okay, some of my horse here. I can just jump without him. Hating this weird lag. Why is this doing this? So I need to unequip all this stuff that I had on to fight Radon. That, that. It's taking me way too long to scroll th through things. Okay, yeah, this is what I thought it was, though. It's not the back of the bats. I opened the door that's the shortcut door here. Don't scream at me. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Forgot there was a jump there. That's fun. I should have just taken the teleport. In fact, you know what? Actually, is this the right teleport or is this the one that takes me off that way? I don't remember if this is the right teleport or not. Let's find out. Hey, it is. Awesome. Hey guys, I didn't feel like fighting all the people outside again. We'll have to go get my souls, but... this anything? Oh, hi. Way too many chances with these guys. Same thing I did with the troll. You need to just fight to win. <laughs> I 
Give me your luck stone. Ooh, a flamberge. That's a fun sword. Now we have to try to remember how to get to where my souls are. Because <laughs> I know I unlocked, or at least I'm pretty sure I unlocked the door that's like a little shortcut door to that area. And I don't remember where that door is. Oh right, you guys are still here. Maybe it's that room. Don't think it is. It's in fact, I'm 100% sure it's not after looking at what direction my soul. Oh god. No. No Iron Maidens. Oh, nice. Red Hat Wood Blade. Not that I plan on turning this into a fire weapon, but good to have. Hit me. Getting closer. That direction. It's not that tower, it's gotta be down over that way. So let's go kill these guys and then head over there. Ow, not supposed to hit twice. Can't repost you if you hit twice. That guy took care of himself. Yeah, sure, you have a shield, but I have Lion's Claw. Back, let's use it again. Get your shield. Awesome. Oh, and your armor. Nice. Six. Let's take a look at those. Great shield shaped like a fang, featuring the crest of red maned lion. Carried by the red maned knight, by the one side we're done. We also got his armor. We know that's not it. This one. Driven to defeat a Millennia Scarlet Brat, the Red Main Knights burned the crest on the left breast of their armor to indicate their resolve. Neat. It's actually pretty good armor. But we cannot wear it and have this sword. Too heavy. 
That fought would kill me, and if it didn't, the Iron Maiden would. Let's see. Survive this. If I can survive this one. Well, let's find out if we can survive this or if we're about to lose all those souls we didn't get. Hey, nice. You didn't even take partial damage. Is this where the Iron Maiden was? Yes, it is. Oh god. Run away. Uh, don't think she can come downstairs, so should be good. Is this the room that had the... Oh no, but it does got a guy in it. Ooh, Armory's Cookbook. Let's see what this one teaches us. If I can ever remember where these are. Oh, I'm looking at crafting. No wonder I can't find it. Stupider than I thought it was. Okay. Uh, we passed it. Right. No, it's not a key item. It's a... Info item? Nope. I never remember where these are. Oh, no, it is a key item. Okay. Book four, what do you teach us? A fetid pot and a roped fetid pot. So it teaches us how to put some poop in a pot and throw it at people. <laughs> really, definitely need a instruction manual for that. Ooh. Back here. Refill my flasks. Thank you. Would that give me a give me three? That's not bad. Uh This room. Oh, this room has a page in it. Let's kill him real quick before he can use that crossbow. Let's screw those guys. I think that might be the room I'm looking for. Yes, it is. Awesome. We get our souls back. Is there a singing bat in here? Yes, there is. Okay, but it's looking at a tree, so... No one way Trump. Hopefully, that's not a one way jump with my horse. Awesome. Okay. Uh, um, and souls. Awesome. And just so I have it, let's take out the rest of these bats. Because the singing one at least will give us a decent bit of souls, or runes rather. I'm going to keep saying souls because it's souls. <laughs> they can rename them all they want. I call them souls and bloodborne too. Here and fight me away from your singing buddy. Thank you. We can sneak up on this guy. Probably not because we have a very high carry weight. But we're going to try. Oh, 
Well, we couldn't backstab him, but I realized partway through that that I'm not sure if you can backstab the bats, so that may have been uh, futile to begin with. Okay. Now let's go get horribly murdered by a dual boss. Whoops. Or fall off this. Okay, there's where I could summon somebody co-op if my game wasn't trying to kill itself. Hey, Sam. No, those bats are nasty. Don't feel sorry for them. Wish I knew why the game was doing that. Just real quick while I'm in this screen and nothing is attacking me. I'm going to pop open my task manager and see if anything's going crazy. So I'm only currently using... 60% each of my CPU and my memory. That's not terrible. So I do not know why the game is stuttering so bad. That is very weird. Wish I knew what was doing that. Turn this off real quick. What else is running? I really don't even have a lot of other stuff running. Very weird. Oh, whatever. Definitely isn't going to be a death room when I try to fight uh, the boss up here. Definitely is not going to be a serious, serious detriment to fighting a crucible knight and his dumb cat buddy. Which, uh, spoiler alert, the boss up here is a Crucible Knight and a, uh, lion person. And it is a really hard dual boss. And I don't think you can summon anybody for it. Though I do think I can rest before it. Yes, I can. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the guy that fell downstairs. He didn't die. <laughs> Was he in here trying to heal? Was he trying to use the, uh... Bonfire. Let me see real quick if I can... I might be able to level up once more before this fight. I don't think I'm going to have enough, but... I'm going to try just for the heck of it. What am I, oh, I'm in the wrong thing again. Let's see if we can level up before this fight. See if that's enough. I don't know what I need after all those levels I got from Radon. Hey, we made it just barely. Okay, let's get our vigor up to an even 30 there. And let's go get murdered. Do I have my wolves? I do have my wolves. Right. Don't think. Yeah, I don't see any summon signs. Let's see if there's anybody online to summon, but I don't know how well that's going to work with the way my game is stuttering. I'll see how I do just fighting these guys myself. So the trick is to try and kill this guy as quick as we can. So that when his buddy shows up, they don't double team us too horribly. Okay, now for the actual boss. Oh god. This is a Crucible Knight. These guys are, uh, tough. Oh god.
Oh, nice. Oh, crap, but I didn't get the good hit in. Oh, he's halfway. He gets his dragon powers. Ow. Oh, God. That was actually kind of lucky. I was still in my getting up animation when he swung his tail, so it didn't hit me. Oh, God, I gotta heal. Please let me heal. Thank you. Last wolf, that was my last wolf, it's just me. Ow. Oh, that was not a good trade. He did a lot more damage to me than I did to him in that. I might be able to beat this guy first try. Oh, spoke too soon. He got me. <laughs> Close though. I was like two hits away. Very close. I feel like if my game wasn't stuttering the way it was, I could have got him first try. All right, round two. We got this guy. If I can kill the misbegotten a little quicker. I said quicker game, not slower. Oh god, he's here. Hit <laughs> from walked up and stabbed me in the face. He is really hard to stagger. Okay, my 400 souls, let me grab those real quick. timing that. Oh, and the tail got me. He's tough. Crucible Knights are not, uh, they are not enemies to take lightly. I think the boss fight I had the hardest time with in this, outside of the first time I fought Millennia before I knew her move set was there's an optional boss at the end of one of the tombs where you have to fight two of these guys at once. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, this is going to be real bad. Crucial Knight's already here. This guy isn't dead. My health is horrible. This is not going to be the run. Oh god. They're going to lock me in this corner. And we're down to one wolf already. Let's play this more strategically. I need to stop doing that because he gets a better deal out of that trade-off than I do. That is not the move to do that on. That is an easy one to repost, but it doesn't stun him. Okay, is this wings? Is this is wings. Oh, nice, he wasted on the wolf.
got plenty of heals, I just gotta take it slow. Oh, wow, that has a follow through. That has a follow through. I'm also very much not used to people not being staggered by this sword. But it is very, very hard to stagger those guys. We got this, though. I can beat him. That was not a great run, because we screwed up so bad against the Misbegotten at the beginning. Health, he's showing up. All right, Miss Gotten's dead. Heal. Ah, oh, God. The fact that that move staggers me is ridiculous, but it's like a special move they have. I don't think it matters what you're. Uh, what call it is. I can't think of the name of the stat, but the one that makes it harder for you to stagger. That move, like, ignores it. Or at least heavily negates it. Left. I should be letting him help me. Oh, and he's dead. But he gave me an opening. To get one hit in. God. He staggers me so easy. Okay, got the timing down that time. He's gotta go slow. That's a punishable move. I forgot the range increases on that when he's in his dragon form. Okay, I got this. He's like a hit away from dead. Trying to see if I can pepper him. I think if I hit him with one of these, it'll kill him. Stop doing that and actually fight. Oh, God, are you kidding me? Uh, I should have healed sooner. I can also never tell when he's doing the single swing around with his tail or the double where it grows on the second swing. I'm sure there is a difference in the animation between the two, but I cannot tell what it is. I am not that skill level. Oh, the wolves knocked him out of his thing. This ain't gonna be the run. He has so much health left, and the thing is here. There. Okay, here comes Crucible Mike to murder me. 
game, for the love of God, get me off of this thing. An adamantine wooden pole. Hey, Wolves, you guys gonna do anything? That wasn't good. Mm, wasted that right away. But I still have all but one of my heals, so if I just go very slow and don't do anything stupid... ...like that... And hopefully beat him. Oh god, why does that have to follow through? Heal. Okay. Big tail. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, every move he has has like six follow throughs. Oh, these guys are tough. Also, three more losses to him, and it's uh, equal to Radon, the boss of the entire section of this map. Okay, game. Uh, I'm gonna go on a rant here, and I know it's more because I'm tilting right now than any actual issue. But it really annoys me when they focus on the human when they're getting attacked by your summons. Like, I get that it's a mechanic's choice to make the game not, like, broken in the player's favor. Because if the enemies acted like they would in real life and attacked the thing that was attacking them at that moment, it'd be real easy to, like, break their AI and just lose the game. So I understand why they do it, but it is just so annoying sometimes when, like, my wolves are doing 900 damage to this thing and it just runs past all of them to attack me standing in the corner doing nothing. Because I'm the human. Actually doing pretty good this time. Having all my wolves alive is a really big help. Oh, he's gonna murder me. He heard me say we're doing good. Oh wait, the human player only has a little bit of health left? I've switched my attention from the wolves to him. 
which again, I like that it adds a challenge, but it's just one of those things that when I've already lost 600 times and I'm getting starting to get salty that I really start noticing more. <laughs> Freezing is really not helping either, because there's a couple of times where that's messed it up for me. Like there, because it, it screws up my inputs when it does that, whatever that weird... I don't want to call it lag, because it's local. I don't know what I should call it, whatever that frame drop is. I need to count how many times the wolves hit him before he decides to lock onto them instead of me. Because it's quite a few. If I hit him once, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Five, and he switched back. Actually, might have been beginning to switch back before. Dead. Just me and him. Where's my sword? I somehow unequipped my sword during that. I don't know how I managed that one. has so many follow-throughs. So it's got one that hits you if you can't recover from that animation fast enough. It's got another that hits you if you can recover but don't dodge. And then a third one that hits you if you do dodge. So basically you have to be at full health at the start of that combo to survive it. You know what? wait on summoning my wolves this time. Let's try this. See, when that lag thing hits, it doesn't let me do the repost. Which is real bad with this guy, because that's how you beat this dude. Okay, now I'm gonna summon my wolves. Game. I, I can't get away from him because it keeps freezing. That is really... Okay, so summoning the wolves late was not what I needed to do. I mean, honestly, what I need to do is just keep restarting the game over and over until it stops doing that. Because it didn't do it last time. It was the stream before last when it last did whatever this is that it's doing. Because it's even doing it when I'm standing still. Like, there it was. I'm going to count this. Hang on. Okay, I didn't say the stream was done for the night. You said the stream was done for the night. But yeah, stream is back. I don't know who I'm saying stream is back to because there is absolutely nobody in right now because 
I stopped it like 15 minutes ago to go install a bunch of stuff and turn off things on my BIOS. But that seems to have fixed the issue. I am not getting any kind of stutter. So let's see if that actually helps with any of this. be helping so far. Not helping my gameplay skill, but it's helping the uh, frame rate. Still got my ass kicked, but at least it happened all in, like, correct <laughs> speed. So it seems to be fixed, so... We went about an hour and a half, so I'm going to go another half hour to make up for that uh, 20 minutes at the end where nothing happened because I was troubleshooting. I almost wonder if it would be better to have the jelly here just to draw aggro. Wings. Oh, did he, I think I skipped his wings. I did. He's in, he's in dragon mode. He just didn't do his wings because he was too beat up. Okay, wolves are dead. Just me and him. Okay, he doesn't do the follow-through on that move if I stay out of his range at the end of it. I can actually dodge him because the game isn't killing itself. Oh. At least when I'm not talking instead of doing it. Whoa, okay, that has a reach about three feet past the end of his sword. That's good to know. It's got two follow through. Oh. Uh, I thought my roll would give me invincibility frames for that second follow through swing. It does not. The game devs thought of that, and they made sure that that swing has a little bit longer animation than your roll does. That seems weird. I am going to go ahead ahead and block that person because that seems like a pre-recorded message. Oh, took too long for that.
Oh, I just drank the wrong flask. And I did it again. Where is my other flask, game? My flask is missing. Where did my flask go? How did I do that? How on earth did I unequip my flask? I didn't know that was something you could do. Well, that was a wash. That was actually impressive that I somehow did that. Ah, my sword is long. Three wolves alive. Oh, down to two wolves. He'll have full flasks. Level shield here to eat a hit for me if I need it. Like that. Alright, we got this. This, this is the run. Oh. Or not. Okay. This was not the run. We're low. The problem is I got cocky there and didn't heal when I should have. Immediately after saying, hey, I still have all my flasks, that's awesome. Immediately after that, I didn't heal. Get out of here, you're not the real fight. That bullshit. Oh god, we didn't kill him fast enough. Okay. Not doing quite as good this time. Wolves are all much more hurt. I've taken more hits. Not as great. Oh wow, he was coming for me. I thought he was attacking the wolves. Not doing as good this time. How did that hit? The hitbox on his sword is insane. It's not where the end of the sword is. Yep, that's a hit. Okay. okay his hitbox is... Really not where it should be. Wolves are all dead. He's still got way too much health for that to be the case. We are going to die horribly. See, my sword is a foot longer than his. And that didn't hit, but his did. That is really annoying. Hit. Yep. Now why did that hit? 
Holy crap, we got him. Okay. Ugh. Maybe we got the Ruins Greatsword. Oh wow, that guy's worth 16,000. I should have used a... I should have used a... Foulfoot. Holy crap. I don't know how many tries that was. That was... It was in the double digits. <laughs> it was definitely more tries than Radon himself took. Which is kind of ridiculous. He also gave me fully half of a level up just on his own. Which is also kind of ridiculous, but it makes sense with how strong he was. Alright. We're going to go down here. And I think I said I was going to do try to do a Millicent after fighting him a hundred years ago when I said what I would do it later on. Let's see, what waypoint is this? Killed Highway South. Get some ruins up here. This is over here. More ruins there. And off over this way, there is a another uh, bonfire. So, I'm gonna hit both those ruins and then get that. Hey, we got some bug people. Uh, give them a bit of a berth here. Give the bug people a bit of a berth. Hey, here's those ruins. Oh, it's filled with more bug people. Awesome. At least they're not trying to use their dumb acid spit stuff on me. That's better than nothing. Oh god. Oh god. I, I need to run, game. Please use the run button when I hit run. These dogs are getting really annoying. These dogs could f please just fuck in the general direction of off. Probably forever. That would be amazing. There's one down. Oh god. I really wish, and maybe it's something that the DLC would do, but that it was possible to like level up your horse at all. Even just give him like some friggin' armor or something. Because once you get later into the game, and we're honestly not super far into the game, maybe just under halfway right now, but like once you get pretty much anywhere past the first little bit of the game despite mounted combat still being something that's like fairly important and necessary in a lot of spots the fact that your horse has like no health 
and can get stunlocked into despawning in like three hits by a lot of enemies is really not helpful. Just because your horse doesn't ever level up the way you level up. Else interesting in here. Ruins, so there should be there it is. Oh, he fired his stuff off. Only one of these guys smart enough to do that. Alright, let's see what we got down here. The boss. Oh, it's a little mini ones. Ugh. Too many of them. Game unlock, please, for the love of God, unlock. You guys are gonna kill me. Get off him. Thank you for jumping into that and making it a two-for-one kill. Very nice of you. Okay. No, not you. The poison guy game. The poison guy. Oh my, it is refusing to lock on to him. Uh, the deadliest enemy in all of FromSoft strikes again. That is the camera. I guess in this case, it's not so much the entire camera as it is specifically the uh, lock-on feature, but that's part of the camera. Remember where that was? No, I do not. But luckily, there's a thing pointing me. That's not right. Not over there. My thing pointing me where to go is drunk, apparently. These guys shoot at me. Nope, not. Oh, I can spawn my dogs. Let's do that real quick. And mushroom guy first, please. My dogs in here? That's I spawned them, but I don't see them. Oh, there they are. A lot of these little guys in here. All right, let's see what they were guarding. Is there anything useful? Meteoric or blade. Look at that. I think that's a katana. Yes, it is. Katana forged from meteoric ore to dispatch life forms born of falling stars. Deals magic damage. The blade is weighty, known to deliver slashes of such ferocity that the impact is said to resemble the crash of a falling meteor. So that is a uh, really good one to use against a couple of optional bosses. That's always good to have. Right. Ooh. 
know what? We can hit the jail cave while we're here, which should be like right around there. According to my handy dandy map. Oh, hey, you're a mushroom guy. He dropped something? Oh. This dropped a mushroom. Okay. It's over here-ish. That's it. I think this is it. Oh, it's a two-keyer. That's an expensive cave. This is it, the jail cave. But, uh, I am actually going to be right back. I'm just gonna grab this so we can rest on that and pop this over to intermission real quick and we'll be right back. And I'm back. We do not have enough to level up. Let's see what's in here. Anything interesting? Ooh, rune arc. Oh, we gotta activate uh, Radon's rune because that's actually a really good rune to use. We should be wearing that. Rat. Bloodstain, but wrapped. But this hidden path ahead. You are a liar, Mr. Note. There's no hidden path there. Right here. Nope. Okay. First off, weak foot. Not that one. I want to put. There we go. Oh, I remember this cave. There's a bunch of those little hobbit guys in here. It's the one I'm thinking of. Pretty sure it's this cave. And there's like stuff you have to hit to open these doors. Because this is locked, right? Yep. There's like a barracks in here. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, there's a drop somewhere. Oh, but you have to do it. And then there's a bunch of those guys on fire in here, right? Yep, okay, yeah, this is the place I was thinking of. You can kill these guys through the bars. If we do that, it'll trigger them to, like, go into explode mode. He hurts the other one, then the other one goes, Hey. And then that'll trigger him to explode, right? Or not. Okay. That might. Yep. So I'm going to do that in all of these because that way when we open these doors, 
these guys won't gang rush us. Because that's what they'll do, otherwise they'll just dogpile on us all at once. Because you can't open one door at a time, you hit one thing and it opens all the doors. Be able to go with this one. Yep. Where he came in. I think that's the one we came in through. Guards yet? No. No guards yet. Actually, I should let this guy explode because that'll hurt his friends. Maybe get them to get up. Yes, awesome. Come on, guys. Look at me. I'm a person. Come over here and explode so you can hurt me. There is a guard. I knew there was one of you guys around here somewhere. We got his boots. The other one's in his place, that's not going to be good for us. This, nope, I gotta open that from the inside. to get that either. There we go. It's funny how, like, they have pretty good, uh, boundary boxes for the weapons in this game in a lot of from top games they do but you can trick it with that jump like see how that hits against it but if i do the jump attack it'll go through occasionally you gotta do it just right there it goes him right out of the air. He didn't hit either of his buddies. Mice. Ooh, that's a big mouse. Ooh. Get him. 
<laughs> and I got all three. That is a very powerful move. Hey, we got some turtleneck meat. We make some more pickled turtleneck. Probably do that because that's a good thing to make. It's a decently good item to have. We used all ours up in the Radon fight. is where we can the trap no decoy ahead awesome this is where we can open those doors too lever in here to do it Right here underneath it is that door that was locked. Let's go real quick because we just let out all the fire zombies. Or at least all the ones that are still alive, like these guys. Take them on one on one, you can usually kill them before they explode, but there's a lot at once, you're kind of screwed. Pillory made to punish serious felons, used as a shield. Though made of good sturdy wood, it is only a makeshift tool and performs as such. Perhaps due to use as a device with which the guilty were made to endure prolonged suffering, it raises vitality. interesting little item. The shield literally made out of uh, one of those little like stocks that you put your person's head in. Throw fruit at them and all that. This back at the entrance. This is back at the entrance. That's not the door I wanted to open. I mean, it is because it's a shortcut, but I wanted to check all the other ones first. in that one, right? That was the pillory shield one? Yeah. Were this way? Can't remember. Yes, there were. Low-level rune from that guy. What this one? What did you guys have in here? You guys did not have anything. You were just meant to come out and murder me. Both the ones in here. And we got the ones down here. Guy real? Yes, he is. Wasn't letting me target him, so I didn't know if he was real or not. But it's because he wasn't, like, activated yet. Which is always kind of funny with the zombies that have, like, something super obvious. Like the ones that are literally on fire. Uh, that's not a fake wall. Oh, I missed him. He's gonna blow, so is he. So is that one. That's what they do. They come at you from all over. If we didn't thin those numbers, that would have been even worse. Stuff in here. Stone sword key. Nice. So we got one of the two we had to use there back. And, for, and a wakizashi. Nope, that'll be up on the daggers. 
short sword with a tempered pattern on the blade. Weapon unique to warriors of the land of reeds. Flicks target with blood loss. These swords are considered auxiliary weapons. As known. Ooh, Okina. We met him. He helped us fight uh, Radon. He's also heavily implied to be like the reborn uh, Sekiro. Like he basically got Isekied into this world after he dies at the end of that game. <laughs> or Isekai. Is it Isekai or Isekai? Let me break that down in my head. It would be... Ah, uh, ah, uh, e. Yeah, so it would be uh, Isekai, not Iseki. Isekai. After he got isekai into this world, or at least there is lore that uh, implies that's possibly who Okina is. Which is kind of a fun little multi-game easter egg. you have some rainbow stones. A hidden cave. Is that, that's the way to the boss, I'm pretty sure, so we're not going to go there yet. Mm. Okay, I oh, guess we are going to go there because there isn't where else to go. So I am going to drink that. Down here. Do not remember what the boss of this place is. Oh, it's a duelist. That is a very easy boss. Killed him before he even activated his rage mode. It was a very easy boss. We got some putrid corpse ashes. Let's see who they are. Ashen remains in which spirit yet dwell. Da, da, da. These spirits appear some dis. Da, 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 da. Their movements are dull and confused. Their low moans make them effective at drawing attention of enemies. Yeah, those are ones that are sort of just like a meat shield. These guys were actually very helpful to me in beating uh, one of the side bosses. Ooh, that's a cool looking thing. The Regalia of Alkaid. Treasured Sword of Alkaid, a lesser, long vanished domain. The copper coloration is not to be confused for rust, but as a conduit for its wielder to move by their will alone. Swords of Alkaid dance through the skies. Fuse the sword with energy, then fling it forward in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Charge the attack to increase reach and duration of the spin. So that means it has a move set similar to uh, that one invader guy with the flying sword. Where the heck are we? Oh, we're right there. Let's go back to here then. God, we're going to go another 40 minutes. I was not planning to go this long. What time is it 11.10? Let's hit... Actually, let's level up before we do anything else. So I'm not carrying around all these souls. Let's get our mind up. Get that off that 14. I like having my stuff in uh, intervals of 5. It looks cleaner. Plus, getting our mind up a little bit more means we can use our 
uh, sword spin a few more times. Actually, probably only one more time, but I have nothing. Be real quick. I think we're near another area we can do something in. Or the swamp you can be invaded by Millicent. That's the thing I was thinking of. Yeah, because if we wander into the middle of here, she'll invade us. Let's see if we can get her to do that. Talk to this guy. See it if only one last time, your splendid blade dancing amid the scarlet rot. He's talking about millennia. We'll know we've correctly triggered it if my horse disappears. Ooh. What do you give me? Ash of War Poison Mist. Poison mist. Bathe armament in poison and then slash, spreading toxic mist forward. The armament retains its poison for a while. That's an interesting one. Also got to be careful in here because there's a pretty decently strong little optional boss in here and I don't want to accidentally trigger him and Millicent at the same time. Actually, summon one of her uh, sisters to help you fight that boss. It's interesting because later on in the game they are uh, enemies. But one of them is just randomly friendly for this one boss fight. Which honestly makes me wonder if there was like cut content where maybe you could interact with the other sisters more than you do in the final game. These guys are going. These are basically uh, Millennia's knights who are left over in here. I gotta heal real quick because this Scarlet Rock's gonna kill me otherwise. Trigger already. Cleanse myself with some flame. Oh, I rolled when I was in there, so that's why it keeps trying to come back. Oh, hi, another one of you. Oh, I don't have my thing out. I don't have my shield out. Oh, hi, more of you. Forgot how many of you are around right here. the rot. Kill him real quick and then I can get that rot off me. Oh wait. Burn myself and get rid of that. Hey that was an exciting little fight there. Couple of fights. Oh hey here's another one. Oh god, and he didn't. That's what I was trying to do with the first guy, <laughs> is kill him without having to get off my horse. And it did not work. 
because he did that move on me. There's another one. I forgot how many of these guys are in here. Where's my... Oh, because I'm stuck on another one of him. Oh, nice. I'm both. Him dead. And him dead. Ooh, did this one give us some Melania armor? Yes, we got some clean rot gauntlets. The clean rot armor is pretty good armor. Melania's guys have some good armor. This is where Captain What's-His face is. Yes, it is. You know what? Let's fight him. Find... I want to find Pollyanna. I'm not going to fight him without her. I do not remember where her summon sign is. Look like it's pretty close to this. Because there's, uh... Oh, is he not in here? Oh, there's her summon sign. Oh, crap. We triggered him. Yep, summon. Please summon. Wolves. Okay, so this guy's annoying because he summons these little dudes. And they're... Restore. And he's also just a ridiculous tank. Also, this whole area is Scarlet Rot, so I really shouldn't have summoned my wolves, because... I can't be on my horse when I have them, and my horse is what's going to protect me from the rot. Actually, I guess the rot is summoned by him. be a theme among uh, 
the bosses in this area is just the fact that they don't stagger. thousand cuts him. Luckily he's apparently forgotten about his ability that uh, spins around and gives me Scarlet Rot, so that's good. Oh wait, no, he remembered it. So summoning more buddies. Here's the next one of his guys, and that's actually what killed me. They swung through him and hit me. <laughs> so I'm going to end it there because we're almost at another hour already, and it's almost 11.30 at night. <laughs> so uh, going to end it there. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for O'Neill. So next stream we will do the uh, stuff I was going to do. And... Uh, that'll be that. Uh, gonna try to stream tomorrow, maybe. If I can find time to do it, I got some other stuff that I have to do first. That kind of takes precedence over playing a video game, but gonna try to stream tomorrow. Uh, just because we are getting closer to the release of the DLC, and I'd like to try to get this to the point where when the DLC comes out, we can actually just play it. Gonna, for the second time tonight, pop in the about. Uh, this is the official uh, Twitch channel of Pot Against the Machine, which is a Pathfinder First Edition actual play podcast. And what that means is it is a podcast where myself and four other people play through a uh, tabletop RPG, Pathfinder, similar to Dungeons & Dragons, for people who haven't heard of it. Uh, New episodes come out every Wednesday. If it sounds interesting, maybe give it a listen and see if you like it. And goodbye. Uh, against the machine.